Hey guys, I haven't made a video in a while and I am looking forward to making this video today, which is long overdue. And I have a bazillion things to talk about actually. Um, one of them is sacred geometry, which I finally, finally have a handle on and I'm pretty excited about that. And then I wanted to talk about just regular life stuff because a lot of regular life stuff thing ha things have been happening and I wanted to talk about something very important with everybody and try to get everybody on the same page with this important thing. And, um, and then I just wanted to talk about some other products that I've been trying and stuff like that. But the first thing I want to talk about is, um, you know when you have a credit card? <laughs> you know how we often have credit cards? Okay, so I got this letter in the mail, which was this one of these things, and um, it said that I owed a minimum payment due of $170, and that it was past due, and they gave me the end of the account number, not the whole account number. So I wanted to, be, I have like three or four cards, so I wanted to make sure I was on top of my credit cards. It's very important to pay your debt on time so that you have good credit. And that took me a long time to learn that. <laughs> Um, it's a very normal thing to learn, and for some reason I didn't really learn that So, um, as when I was in my first marriage. So um, it took me, when I wanted to buy a house, I had to do a lot of, you know, um, explaining why I hadn't paid things on time because I didn't understand how important it was, and it's very important to pay things on time. And at least the minimum, if not a little more than the minimum, or pay the whole thing off if you can. That's the best. So... You know how when you call a company and they want all your private information to verify who you are? They want your name, your birthday, your your social security number, your driver's license number often, and uh, um, your address, of course. And when they have your name and your birthday and your social security number and your um, driver's license and your address, they can steal your identity. And so when you give all that information out over the phone because they, whoever they are, says it's policy, they are putting you in a situation where they, whoever they are, and whoever their friends might be, can steal from you. So guess what? This is the point. You don't have to give all that information out in order for them to help you. But you do have to fight a little bit, which is annoying. So this is why people are always telling me, you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling. <laughs> I'm just defending my right to privacy, okay? And if my voice gets loud, I'm sorry. But this is how I had to say it. And you can say it, too. <laughs> you can say to the person on the phone that you do not have to give out your Social Security number and your driver's license and your birthday and your address to verify who you are because you know who you are. Here's the thing. The credit card company sets it up so that they feel like they have to know who you are and they take all your information for themselves. But why would you, why would I call a credit card company and deal with the annoying task of having to get through the recording so that I can pay a bill for someone else? Why would I do that? I wouldn't. No one would do that. No one would go through calling one of these companies in order to deal with the hassle of having to say who you are. You know, I had to say who I am several times. And so this guy asked me for my social security number and my name right off the bat. Um, I would have given him the account number, but th the piece of paper only gave me the last four digits, so I couldn't. So I had to give him my name and the last four digits of the account number. And I wanted to give him the last four digits of my social, and he wasn't ha satisfied with that. And he said, kept saying in order to look me up, he had to have my social. And I said, you know what, you don't have to have my social to look me up. All you need is my name and the, the last four digits of this account because I need to pay this, and I want to pay it on time. We had to argue back and forth. This guy s stayed really calm, and I have to hand it to him. He stayed very calm, despite the fact that I was saying, I don't want to give you all my private personal information because you are a stranger, and I understand you're doing your job, but what you're actually doing is putting my private information and my life at risk by having to give you too much information. And he argued what he was taught to say to the customer, which is, this is our policy, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I managed to get him to look up my account. I had to pressure him into it and explain where I was coming from, which you cannot argue because I'm right about this. And um, I gave him my name. I made sure I spelled it correctly like three or four times because he was struggling with my name. And um, 
And then I gave him the account number, and he did find it. And I did not need to give out my social, my, my drive. I did give out my um, address, and they wanted my mother's maiden name. But I did not give out my driver's license and my social security number, and I did give my birthday. So he had my birthday, um, my name, and my mother's maiden name. But not my social and not my driver's license. And I think he had my address. So it's really the social and the driver's license that makes it easy for them to steal from you. So if you can avoid giving those two things out, you know how when you go and um, you go and you're shopping at Kohl's or Macy's or um, TJ Maxx or something, and they always offer you five, tw 10 to 20 percent off if you sign up for their credit card. Well, when you sign up for the credit card for 10 percent off, you're giving away all of that personal information that makes it easy for someone who reads it to steal from you. And you have to assume, sadly, that someone will steal from you. And so you have to protect yourself. You can't be trusting in this world, not this particular world, because this particular world will screw you. That's the way it's designed. And that's another subject <laughs> that I just figured out. But um, huh, it's a nonstop battle here to keep yourself protected. You have to fight for yourself in terms of, you don't have to be mean about it, but you do have to say, I don't have to give you all this information to pay my bill. I mean, I wanted to pay my bill, not steal from myself or steal from my account or steal from anybody else's account. I wanted to pay my bill. So he should have just been happy to accommodate me and take my money because that's what this game is about, you know, right now. I mean, part, part of it. It's the money game. So he's working at this company so that he can earn money, earn his living. The, he's working for the bank, which is the biggest, um, one of the biggest crooks and one of the biggest ways of making money on this planet is banking. And so he's working for the bank who has lots and lots of money because they charge fees for everything. And all those little fees add up to a lot of money. It's this very clever system. So... Um, you know, a lot of people work for the bank. Strangers work for the bank. I don't know who works for the bank. I don't know who that kid is. He sounded like a nice kid. But if I gave him all my information, he could easily steal from me. So the point I'm trying to make is that you don't have to give all your information. Even if they keep saying they need it, you can say, no, you don't actually need all of that information. You can say that nicely. You can say, you can actually help me out with my name and my um, zip code and my account number. That's how you can help me out. You don't have to have my driver's license and my social security number. And they're going to keep on saying, yes, we need to have your, your driver's license and your social security number. Those are the questions that we have to ask you. That's our policy. You can say, well, I don't have to give you all that information because I don't want to be stolen from. And I know that if I give out all this information, my driver's license, my birthday, my social security number, my name, and my address, that I can be stolen from. And I don't want to be stolen from, so I don't want to give you all that information. And I think you can help me even if you don't have all that information. So give it a try. And then they find out that they can help you. And then they can help you. And then they help you. And the whole thing doesn't have to be so miserable. But because we're on planet Earth, the thing is miserable, and my computer isn't working, and my face is being frozen in weird ways. I don't know if you can still hear me. <sighs> anyway, that's my rant about that. And um, I'm going to make another video about the other stuff that I want to talk about. So, love you guys. Don't give out your social and your driver's license. You don't have to. And maybe if enough of us complain, and when I have a conversation like that with some guy on the phone, somebody who answers the phone for these banks, and they say that the conversation is recorded, I'm always glad the conversation is recorded because I want them to hear me complain about their policy because the policy is designed to steal from people. That's all it is. They say it's to protect you, but it's not to protect you. How does it protect me? To give this total stranger all my private information. That doesn't protect me. That gives the opportunity to whoever works for the bank to steal from me. That's all it does. So at the end of the conversation with this kid, this poor guy, who stayed calm, and he was impressive, I have to say. I was impressed by him. He never got upset. And I got worked up a couple times because that's what I tend to do. And he stayed cool as a cucumber. It was very, very cool. Anyways, I said, do you see how you were able to help me without me giving out my private information? And he said, yes, I do. I see that. So I said, thank you. Have a nice day, you know. Anyway, love you guys. Talk soon. Bye.